The U.S. Senate is working to approve a bipartisan infrastructure bill with a price tag of $1 trillion. Arizona Senator Mark Kelly is one of 68 senators voting to move it to the House. He spoke with our News 11's Cody Lee earlier today. Senator Mark Kelly says this bill is something that should have been done decades ago and includes money for upgrades to the U.S.-Mexico port of entry along the Arizona border. There's also funding to enhance water distribution and storage. It's a bill that Senator Kirsten Sinema paved the way for. Today on the Senate floor, she spoke ahead of the final vote. In Washington, palace intrigue and insider drama often steal the spotlight from important policy issues. But I promised Arizonans something different. Arizona's other senator sat down with News 11 to talk about the critical needs addressed in the bill. There are over 150 water projects that have been flagged and are in need of repairs in the state including in and around Yuma, that's going to repair water infrastructure, including pipes in certain areas, right? But also repairing dams and uh, canals and pumping plants and all that stuff to make us more resilient to, to drought. The town of Tacna's current system is more than 40 years old, and the community has been dealing with high arsenic levels since 2011. That's unacceptable, and they should not be dealing with this. The Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act will also work towards clean energy, stronger water and sanitation systems for tribal lands, improving public transit, faster internet, and investing in fire suppression and recovery. Over at the border, Kelly solidified three billion dollars which will go to port of entries including the one in san luis nearly 150 million dollars to upgrade the san luis port of entry mm. so one once that project is underway that'll be pretty obvious the senator says the ports need better technology more staffing and immigration judges senator kelly hopes it will increase commerce across the border and better the economy in arizona he tells me the funds will also be used for repairing and upgrading bridges and roads across the state reporting in the newsroom cody lee news 11 back to you cody thanks and the yuma sector border patrol facilities are at max capacity tonight between all of the permanent holding centers and the temporary soft-sided facility, it's able to hold 1,100 migrants. And again, they are a little over that number right now. The average daily number of crossings rose from 520 to 620 just last week. Since there are a lot of people confined to one area, it could really pose a risk for COVID. And Border Patrol sends migrants to the hospital to get tested only if they are experiencing symptoms. So for those who may be asymptomatic, the virus will